What is up YouTube and welcome back to Bike Hub Japan. So that is going to be the last time you're going to hear me say that. And for all you guys out there who really liked my UK intro. Come on England! Come on England! That's also going to be the last time you're going to see that. Because I'm going to be changing things up a bit next year. But basically in this video mainly what I wanted to say was hope you guys all had a great Christmas. We certainly did over here. My daughter opened up all her presents and was very happy. And then I made a roast turkey lunch, which we didn't eat until 8 p.m. because of jet lag issues. But overall, we had a really good time and I hope you guys did too. So yeah, like I said, next year, things are gonna be changing up a little bit. Um, but before we discuss that, I just wanna to say to all you guys out there who've watched my videos, given me a thumbs up, commented on the videos, and sent me messages uh, on Instagram and stuff like that, thank you very much. And I hope you'll continue to support me next year all right guys so as you can see i'm in the garage with the old yzf 750 street fighter now i think this is going to be my main bike for 2023 i don't really want to go rushing out there and buying something expensive that i can't really afford and don't really need because this sort of you know it's got two wheels and an engine it does almost everything that i need a bike to do so yeah i will be riding this bike and i will be doing videos that sort of similar to what I have done in the past. Now I couldn't believe this is season five. That means I've been doing YouTube videos or I've been on YouTube for four years. I can't believe how quickly that has gone. And all the bikes that I've been through, all the different stuff that has happened to me, all the bones are broken, all the money I've wasted, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, it's, it's quite amazing really that I've been, been doing it for so long. And a big thanks to all you guys who are still with me. Some of you guys from the very first video, so awesome thank you very much guys i really appreciate the um community that we've built and kind of weird thing to say because a lot of you guys i've never met in real life but friendships it's kind of cool that on the internet you can become friends with people like chatting on instagram chatting on messenger whatever it may be and uh yeah it's it's uh, become a great community and a big thanks to everyone so um maybe you saw the trailer so last week i uploaded a trailer to the channel did you see it did you see it no? Okay, let me play it again now. Right, so, you guys probably had no idea that this guy was into that sort of stuff, right? So, <laughs> yeah, it's one of my guilty pleasures. I'm totally obsessed with anything esoteric, occult, anything that's weird and wonderful that's kind of like unexplainable or science can't really give you a good answer. It, you know, I like questioning things. And so, yeah, those topics that I mentioned in that there trailer, such as UFOs or UAPs, if you want to call them that now, ghosts, um, forbidden history you know like stuff like there's some castle or some ruins and nobody knows who built it or some like underground tunnels and nobody can explain how it got there so there's all, all these kind of weird and wonderful topics that i'm totally into and at the minute um i'm driving a van so i'm listening to podcasts all day long and it's always on topics like that so i'm far from an expert but i'm quite well read up on these sort of subjects so <laughs> what I want to do is I'm going to pick the ones I know the most about that I can speak to you without making too many mistakes. And I'll ch also I'll choose the ones that are the most interesting or the most fun ones or the ones that will make you go, whoa, I can't explain that. Like it could be anything, but yeah, basically I do want to kind of make this the kind of theme of the channel if, if you want to say it like that. So I'm still going to continue with riding bikes, obviously, because it's Bike Hub. So I'm still going to be doing work on the bike, changing things on it, probably buying and selling a few more bikes as well. We'll see how that goes. But um, yeah, rather than just getting on the bike one day and riding to, I don't know, riding to the post office and then talking about something that happened last week that's basically of no interest to anyone really, but you guys watch it just, just for shits and giggles. I don't really want to do that. I probably still will a little bit, but I want to... Um, spend my time and energy 
telling you guys fun and interesting stories. So that is what I will do. And the other thing is, I think I'm gonna be in the UK for the foreseeable future. I'm not quite sure until when. There's lots of variables and things that I still need to work out. Um, so the benefit of that, obviously I'm a bit like bummed out that I'm not in Japan, but the benefit of being in the UK is Europe is just there and it's so freaking cheap. So um, my auntie owns a property in Portugal which she rents out to people for vacations and stuff, but it's quite big and so there's one kind of like, I'm going to make it sound grand here, but there's like one wing that she never rents out that's just for her. And so I was, I was saying to her, oh, I really want to go to Portugal. I was kind of like, in Japan, in Japan we say gormasuri, it's like crushing um, sesame. I don't know why they say that, but it means like kissing someone's ass kind of thing. So she basically said, all right, yeah, if you want to go, you can stay for free. And I was like, yes. So I'm going to go to Portugal maybe February, or end of February or early March. Now, I was thinking of taking this bike, but the ferry is 500 pounds um, for a return, for a one week return. And to get to the ferry is gonna cost about that in fuel. So 600 pounds just to get there. Whereas I can get to the local airport and I can fly to Lisbon for 50 pounds. Five zero, 50 pounds, that's like ridiculous. It's an amazing thing, you can just go from England to Spain or to Portugal, to Italy, to Greece, wherever the hell you want and it costs nothing, it's peanuts. So I'm gonna to fly to Lisbon, I'm gonna rent myself a T7, a Yamaha Tenere 700, and I'm gonna just ride around um, Portugal and go exploring. So the plan is, with these kind of videos, if I'm gonna be doing road trips or long trips away, I'll still do my usual like vlog stuff, like day one, I'm just arrived at the airport, hi, hi guys, I'm just driving, I'll still do all that. But what I really want to spend a bit of time on is at the end of the trip, getting all the best footage that I've got from this camera, probably not so much the GoPros, um, my drone, my decent audio recording equipment. I want to get it all edited nicely with proper music, not just the free stuff you get on YouTube library, proper music, proper titles, maybe some nice templates to do slideshows to show photos and stuff like that. But basically I want to make like, say 20 to 30 minute documentary style videos every, every so often. But I will still do the vlogs, I'll still be riding the bike around, doing wheelies, acting like a fool. But the theme, like I said, the theme is gonna be sort of like the esoteric world that we live in. So I wanna get on with that. I hope you guys are gonna to continue to watch and I hope you guys will enjoy it because like I said at the beginning, you guys probably didn't know I was into this, but I've been called like tin foil hat, conspiracy theorist, weirdo, even by my family. <laughs> oh, definitely by my friends, but even my family used to, used to say, oh, you're a freaking freak, Sh shut up, that's not how it works. But I like to question things, and I hope you guys will also like to question things. So, yeah, that's my long speech out of the way. It's gonna be New Year soon. Guys don't drink too much. I've been sober for two months now. I'm keeping myself off the booze and I'm gonna concentrate on making sexy ass videos. All right, I'll see you guys in January. Enjoy. <laughs>